Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself, and happy Meatless Monday. In uh, this episode, I want to um, go over, as the title implies, the vegan diet and leucine, the amino acid. One complaint I see very often from athletes regarding why they can't be fully vegan uh, is leucine intake, actually. They gripe the vegan diet or plant-based eating style is low in leucine for their needs. Um, there is some truth to this, generally speaking, but there's also simple and case-dependent solutions. First, why is leucine so important? Well, for the unaware, leucine has been dubbed the anabolic trigger, as well as other catchphrases. Uh, it has been shown to have a significant role in stimulating mTOR activity and protein synthesis, and thus enhancing muscle growth. Now, the average person, or really anyone who is not aiming for strength or bodybuilding endeavors, really doesn't need to concern themselves over this too much. Just get ample protein for your goals, which will vary by athletic discipline, all of which I've explained in previous videos. And if you're just an average, relatively inactive person, aim for the RDA minimum of about 0.4 grams of protein per pound of body weight a day, and you'll be fine health-wise. Now, someone, for instance, who's involved in bodybuilding could definitely benefit from some of the tips I'm going to be getting into here. So, in the links below, I have provided resource uh, a resource that uh, lists the leucine amount by food, and you will see that it's dominated mostly by eggs and meat. In the top ten, you will find soy isolate, not tofu, mind you, but isolate as in protein powder, as well as spirulina. Uh, but the vegan options kind of stop there. A single serving of soy isolate provides 4,226 milligrams of leucine, which is just shy of what an egg provides at 4,233 milligrams of leucine. But that's just shy by a hair. So without consuming shitloads of soy isolate powders, how can a vegan uh, get ample leucine in their diet to optimally stimulate muscle growth? Well, for one, I would certainly recommend you supplement with some soy isolate. Perhaps a soy, uh, a soy included protein powder, be a blend of some sort, post-workout. This, of course, assuming you do not suffer any kind of soy allergies. Now, there are those of you who are worried about hormone levels and soy. Um, despite that this myth is not really true, uh, people still uh, pr go around fear-mongering with this um, pretty much incessantly. I see it all the time in my pretty much every day in the vegan Facebook group that I moderate. But fear not. In a 2007 study published in the Journal of, Interna the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, soy isolate was shown to raise testosterone and lower estrogen in trained men. Now, I've done a video about this before. Furthermore, in a meta-analysis published in 2010 in the Fertility and Sterility Journal, research showed no effects of soy protein or its isoflavones on reproductive hormones in men. But what about women and breast cancer, you might ask? Well, let's quote a statement from the American Cancer Society. In quotes, even though animal studies have shown mixed effect on breast cancer with soy supplements, studies on humans have not shown harm from eating soy foods. Moderate consumption of soy foods appears to be safe for both breast cancer survivors and the general population, and may even lower breast cancer risk. Avoid soy supplements until more research is done. So enjoy your occasional tofu stir-fry or tofu burger. They are unlikely to increase your risk of breast cancer, and on balance, um, are some of the healthier foods you can eat. End quotes. But certainly take the advice of your doctor, assuming you have any sensitivities, previous, current, or pre-existing conditions or illnesses, and this does include thyroid issues because soy does contain goitrogens, which uh, cannot be fully cooked out. So this tip is mostly aimed at healthy individuals, people without those pre-existing or current uh, conditions or illnesses. So how else can a strength athlete get ample leucine from their diet? Well, consume the upper end protein for your goals. From a peer-reviewed paper for Natural Bodybuilders released in 2014 in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, it is stated, in quotes, most but not all bodybuilders will respond best to consuming 2.3 to 3.1 grams per kilogram 
of lean body mass per day of protein. Now this comes to approximately 0.91 to 1.36 grams per pound of body weight, lean body weight that is, for those of you who prefer pounds over kilograms. So the up, that is the upper end in this case, uh, being 1.36 grams per pound mark. So if you're really concerned about your leucine intake and you don't want to supplement uh, soy, perhaps aim for that higher protein mark to ensure you're getting a lot of leucine during the day. Um, you're kind of ensuring you're getting more and more and more of it from a higher protein perspective. Um, and uh, if, that is, if that is simply more than you're willing to consume protein-wise or more than your appetite or system can handle, um, one more tip is to supplement with leucine itself, something I call leucine feedings. Now, let me explain what that is. By this, I mean consuming 5 grams of leucine supplement, like an L-leucine powder, between meals throughout the day, and uh, 5 grams with your post-workout shake. Or, alternatively, you could use 10 grams of a BCAA supplement, which, can, which is at a 2 to 1 1 ratio in favor of leucine for the same effect. 2 to 1 1 and 10 grams would net you about 5 grams of leucine. So, yes, you can find some quality and affordable vegan options for these two. People are always like, well, are the BCAAs and the leucine supplements, are they vegan? Um, well, one example would be Almax Nutrition, which is a relatively big brand. Uh, it's a commercial brand at that, too, so it should be pretty much relative, uh, 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 available. Uh, I'm losing my words here. It's a little late at night. Um, but it should be regularly available pretty much everywhere. Readily available is the word I was looking for. Everywhere in the world, Almax is a pretty big commercial brand. And uh, they offer a vegan leucine and BCAA product. And I've actually linked... Uh, in the descriptions, the uh, Almax product comparison chart, which will display all of their products, and it uh, check mark boxes um, which ones are vegan friendly, and that does include their BCAA and their leucine product. I've also linked uh, to those products by Almax uh, from Amazon in the description as, as well, so you can just go straight to it and purchase it if you're interested. Um, another uh, great option is uh, True Nutrition. Um, and they've uh, confirmed by email that they sell a plant-derived fermented BCAA and leucine product. With True Nutrition, you can also use my affiliate code, which is VEGNUT100, V-E-G-N-U-T 100, to receive 5% off your order. Now, they are a bulk supplier, so the prices are also very fair. And, uh, but you want to take note, they're U.S.-based. So if you're in Canada, the shipping costs will be slightly more, and if you're overseas, it's going to be pretty much not worth your time. You might want to get a different product somewhere else. And there are others, too. So do your research, and when in doubt, call a manufacturer and ask them to elaborate on their sourcing. Because, yes, some leucine products are actually sourced from human hair, for instance, uh, typically the ones out of China. And uh, there are others that can be sourced from dairy or meat products, uh, or meat sources, sorry. Anyway, there you have it, uh, some tips that you can, uh, you can use to help you achieve optimal protein synthesis as a vegan for your physicals and no need to exploit or kill sentient beings in doing so. Um, if you have any questions or something you'd like to add, uh, perhaps you know some products you can recommend that are vegan, uh, please do drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on Friday for a regularly scheduled episode. I hope you all have a good week. Until then, stay fit. Stay formidable and stay fantastic. See you around.